Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Whole Home and Body Health. And today I was driving down the road and I saw this cell tower off in the distance that I'm sure you can see. And so I get questions all the time from people about what's a safe distance to be away from a cell tower. Um, and there really is no quick and easy answer to that because you know, no matter how close you are, this looks really, really close. Um, and, and there's no way to know without measuring because all of these cell towers are different. The antennas are different. The power they're putting out is different. There's so many variables. There could be a building or trees or foliage or houses in between me and that and, um, tower that will block. So this one's wide open. Um, so I just wanted to get a quick measurement of it so that you could see kind of the readings that I'm getting. And I'm pretty darn close. I mean, maybe a quarter, quarter to a half a mile, which I wouldn't want my house to be near. But let's take some readings and see what we got. So I have my 59B gigahertz solutions meter. I'm gonna turn that on. So you can obviously hear it. That is uh, the sound that cell towers make on my meter. And I'm getting over 200 microwatts per square meter. So I'm gonna have to turn up the sensitivity a little bit on that to see. So it looks like I'm getting about 900, about a thousand microwatts per square meter just hanging out here. So, you know, there's houses right behind me here. I wouldn't live um, in one of those houses. This is a golf course right behind me here. Uh, so, you know, just, things to consider. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to be in the homes that are right underneath that tower for sure. Um, although when you get directly underneath the tower, you have this umbrella effect. So your frequencies might be a little bit less. Regardless, I just wouldn't want to um, purchase a home in this neighborhood. So I'm actually surprised that the numbers aren't higher than a thousand microwatts per square meter. I would have expected them to be several thousand. So it's just an example of we cannot say for sure what the safe distance is from one of these towers without testing because there are so many variables. So I definitely recommend when you're looking to rent or buy a house or you're just moving, um, you know, make sure you have an assessment done or get your own meter. Um, I'll leave some links below to the, some of the meters that I like. I think it's very important that everybody have their own meter just so you know. Um, they're, you know, you can buy small ones that are great for traveling. You don't know what's going on in the you know, hotel room where you're staying or your friend's house. And so it's good to just know, maybe you wanna move to the other side of the room. Maybe you can find the router and you can cover it or unplug it or whatever it is. So, um, you know, just another example of testing is very important. If you're looking to uh, move, get an assessment done before you move in. It's better, you know, to have this knowledge before you move in. Get your own meter so you can take control yourself. And that is all I have for you guys today. So, of course, leave me any questions below if you've got any questions about this. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. That really helps other people find this information. And I will see you all next time. Bye.